plaintiff, Tanya Bodie, met the defendant at work, and Tanya really liked her because she was fun and outgoing. Tanya's suing because she loaned her car to the defendant, and she was involved in a hit and run. Defendant Elizabeth Ladwig says while working with Tanya, she was very demanding, snippy, and bossy, and it was always Tanya's way or the highway. Elizabeth insists there was minor damage to Tanya's car, and she doesn't owe what Tanya's asking for. Start with you. I met the defendant at work, and we became friends. She's, she's just outgoing, like me. We had fun together. Um, we had to go to a meeting one time, and you know, she's fun, but we were supposed to meet, and she was a half an hour late. And then on the way back from the meeting, she drank, and I thought I was going to die on the way back because she's a crazy driver. But um, she was fun. Um, Driving drunk. Yeah. <laughs> causing you to fear for your life. Coming to meetings <laughs> half an hour late. It's what you describe as a fun time. She, she <laughs> was right. not that. <laughs> right. when, when, she was, when she was drinking, that was not fun. Was, all right. I was, Go ahead. Tell me what else. You all always gotten along, no problem. At work, yeah. Okay. I mean, she was, she was a fun person. All um, right. Just outgoing, had fun mm -hmm. with the residents. Is this the only problem you all have ever had, the car? Yeah. All right. Let me get some background from you, ma'am. First of all, Tanya, it was one wine cooler, and you know that. Okay. You get drunk <laughs> off one wine cooler? I could have probably had 12, but no, it was one. So don't stretch that. And you were driving? Yes, I was. Okay. okay. This Legal. is the kind of fun they have. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Going back and bickering back and forth. Good yes. Um, Tanya's correct. We did work together. Um, we mostly worked with traumatic brain injury clients. Um, it, she's, she was a hard worker, but in the other sense, she could be very demanding, um, snippy, bossy, um, either Tanya's way or the highway. When she was right, she was right. When she was wrong, she was still right. Man, you have a lot of guns. Yeah, I was going to say so. <laughs> <laughs> My kind of lady. Yeah. <laughs> but we were both single mothers, both have two children, um, both have parents who have passed away. So we did have some things in common that did, we did form a, a friendship. Okay. But really not outside of work. No. Got it. How does she owe you for car repairs? She used to show up late all the time. So this particular day, she had showed up an Tanya, hour and a half late. Two times. Two times? Mm -hmm. No. Two Ten times. minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour. Hour, hour and a half, like a week before this. And an hour and a half this day. So she comes into work late. Um, she is stressed out. She has her boyfriend with her who is on the phone with our boss, and she- What do you mean? He came into he the came workplace? He came into our job and was trying to explain to our boss about what had happened the night before. There was a, a incident. She was too drunk to explain? <laughs> she, I guess. Go ahead. I, I don't know why he called okay. because- Go ahead. So he is talking to our boss, and I'm overhearing it, and he's trying to defend her. And our boss is basically like, uh, yeah, she should be on the phone, first of all. Second of all, it's been how many times that she's done this, and it's a little ridiculous. So he leaves. She couldn't get to work that morning, so he drove her. I don't, she, it wasn't because she was drunk, I don't think so. I'm not really sure. But Thank you, Tanya. Um, then, so, then. You been smoking weed? Huh? <laughs> So you've been smoking mm, weed? No, I have not. Oh, keep losing your train of thought. Only on no. our lunch breaks, Your Honor. No. Keep forgetting and losing My... your train of thought. Those are classic symptoms. <laughs> no. Now you're laughing and Especially... nothing fun. <laughs> and nobody's I'm joking. I'm sorry. I am nervous. I am very sorry. Go ahead, ma'am. I'm okay. just having a little fun so, with you. Anyway, he leaves at like 11 o'clock. She comes back in from a break, and she says that she needs to she needs to go to the police station because of an incident that happened the night before. So she says, I have to be there at one o'clock. Well, I don't know what to do. She's calling her boyfriend. Her boyfriend doesn't answer. She doesn't have a ride. So she says to me about a quarter to one, can I use your car? Well, I had smelled alcohol on her, but I thought it was from the night before because this whole incident that happened the night before. And 
She then, I tell her that she can use my car, but she cannot wreck it. Please don't wreck it. You had to tell her that. <laughs> Please. Yes, I did. You don't I think was, she assumed that? I was that? hoping that she didn't. So anyway, she leaves. I get off of work at 3 o'clock. She forgets to pick me up from work. She, I get a phone call on my cell phone that's, that's from a police officer, and it says that you've been involved in a hit and run. So I call the police officer. Lo and behold, it's her who hit somebody at the McDonald's parking lot, and she drove away. Well, she was supposed to be going to the police station to get pictures taken, and she did not even go to the police station. Mm -hmm. And I have a court or a. They were coming to my house. Not right. no, did she weren't. ever agree to pay, or did she admit N that she, she admitted did? yes and in text agreed to in pay? text messages? All right, ma'am. Let me hear from you. The reason why I did get a ride to work is because my witness and I were both victims of a crime the prior night, um, and the person who did this broke into my house. Um, stole my keys, assaulted him, assaulted myself, took his keys. After the officers left early that morning, it was probably like 3.30 a.m. The next morning, I shouldn't have even dreamed of going to work, but I thought I had to go to work. Did well, you know this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Why well, weren't you a little more sensitive to it? I was a little sensitive to her. Okay. I, my boss actually wanted to fire her that day, and I had talked to my gotcha. boss and told her. All right. Um, anyway, the policeman had to go to the jail where this person that did this crime was being held, and he had my car keys. Mm -hmm. By the time the officer brought back my car keys, my car was disabled. He had done something to my car, so it wouldn't even start. And that's when my witness gave me a ride to work. So when I was at work, I, I, I'm honest, I should not have even been there. I was just out here. Did you wreck her car? Um... I don't want to say I wrecked it. It was a hit and run. I didn't feel it was a hit and run. Well, I, I brushed a vehicle. I didn't, knowingly, I didn't think I did much damage. Her light, the blinker light was- When you say you don't want to say you wrecked it, what did you mean by well, that? Well, it's not like I, it was totaled. I didn't know what you meant what do by wrecked Oh, okay. Yeah, when you hit mm -hmm. another uh, object <laughs> and it causes damage. Okay. That's a wreck. Go ahead. But anyway, that blinker light was held on with chicken wire. It mm -hmm. was just hanging like a loose tooth that was ready to you agree to pay for it? Excuse me? Did you agree to yes. pay for it? Have yes. you? Um, that's a different story, too. I never got an estimate. Mm -hmm. I never got a bill. That's your defense? You never got a bill? Nothing. That's your she... only defense? No. What no. is your other defense? Um, my defense is, after this had happened, I called up my insurance agent and said what had happened. Mm -hmm. And their answer to me was, the insurance follows the car. That's horrible. What's your answer to her? I was, wi I was willing. About her money. I was willing. For wrecking to, her car. I was willing to pay her. And why aren't you going to I have now? no estimates. I have nothing. She okay, won't produce anything. Okay, that's why I asked. Is that your only defense? Um, well, my. Do you have your estimate today? Yes, we I can do. Get, we, can, <laughs> we can get rid of this real quick. <laughs> First, I thought she was giving me another defense about the insurance All of these company. Are estimates for I my guess car. she knew I figured out that it wasn't between uh, you and the insurance company. All right. Give her a copy. It's six hundred. You can add it up. Judgment for the plaintiff, six hundred dollars. Good luck to you both. She's a whack job. Oh, please. Her, Tanya, your vehicle isn't even worth three hundred dollars. Okay, well, it's I a guess. Piece of I guess it just matters that you're drinking and oh, please, a whack okay. job all the time. Smoke some more pot in your car. Really? That's all. You're the one that's a crackhead. 